All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knocked out power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the challenger, the giant. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's move up. So here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. 
Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just a slip there. And he landed the right hand there. Straight left counter finds the target. That kick blocked by Nermago Meta. Single collar tie now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes all oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from W. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique. Once he gets on his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kate Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he had that overhand right, he hurt me. So 33 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Just over two minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Mixing it up beautifully. Hook shots to the body, the weapon now. Oh man, look at that picture, perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position, got another beautiful take. -down. Tags him with the uppercut. Huge block there. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Nermago Meadow. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice punch, man. Oh, collar tie. And he switches his stance yet again. Hook to the head there by Nervago Metal. Plus right hand is true. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medal. You're always thinking Russell when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Just out of range with that strike. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Straight punch land. Single collar tie there. Right hand upstairs. That punch no good. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Round two straight ahead. Alright, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why she is getting brutalized right now. Big punch from the clinch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Marco Medov gets caught with that push. There's a takedown attempt. Nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He blocks the punch. Unable to land with that punch. Back and forth we go here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Oh! Oh, he might be out! Gets back up. The question is for how long? Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He never be a stationary target, but even if the feet aren't moving. Oh! Still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know, they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Look at him yank the head. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Misses again with a right punch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Nice. Right punches there. Oh, nice. Nice. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, close guard now. Guillotine attempt now looks as though
though he's got the neck. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but accuracy. The accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. That strike blocked by Nermago. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Slips the left hand. Magomedov gets hit with a kick. That one's could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. to go in round three. Oh! Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice punch there by Nermago Medov. Oh, huge block! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 22 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can...